ਦੇਣਾ ਫਾਸਲੇ ਇਹ ਨਾਰਾਜ਼ਗੀ ਕਾਗਜ਼ੀ ਸਾਰੀ ਤੇਰੀ ਮੇਰੇ ਸੋਹਣਿਆ ਸੁਣ ਲੈ ਮੇਰੀ ਦਿਲ ਦੀਆਂ ਗੱਲਾਂ Good morning Veena ji good morning to you welcome to dildiya galla uh, actually aap aaye to the ek do hafte pehle lekin there was a singing part today is a cooking part which we yes have. today is something different kafi diff kafi din ho gaye hain maine kiya kyunki season aate hain jaate hain to kuch na kuch change ho jata hai <laughs> different different things come up i'm so happy that you joined and uh, welcome to everyone namaste sat sri akal assalam alaikum ਐਨ ਮਾਰੇ ਫਰੈਂਡਸ ਵੀ ਆਈ ਹੈ ਯਹਾਂ ਪਰ ਸੰਤੋਸ਼ ਜੀ ਆਈ ਹੈ ਸੰਤੋਸ਼ ਜੀ ਨੇ ਬੋਲਾ ਥਾ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਜੋ ਮਿਲੇ ਥੇ ਤੋ ਪੂਜਾ ਮੈਂ ਤੋ ਕਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਵੈਨਸਡੇ ਕੋ ਤੋ ਬਿਲਕੁਲ ਫ੍ਰੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਤੋ ਮੈਂ ਕਿ ਆਪਣਾ ਅਲਾਰਮ ਲਗਾ ਲਿਆ ਕਰੋ 10:30 ਫਿਕਸ ਕਰ ਲਓ ਵੈਨਸਡੇਸ ਫਰਾਈਡੇ ਡੋਨਟ ਮਿਸ ਇਟ ਡੋਨਟ ਮਿਸ ਇਟ ਐਂਡ ਰਮਾ ਜੀ ਇਜ਼ ਹੇਅਰ ਕਮਲੇਸ਼ ਜੀ ਹੇਅਰ ਹੈਲੋ ਗੁੱਡ ਮਾਰਨਿੰਗ एवरीबॉडी ਐਂਡ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਨੂਪੁਰ ਆਫ ਕੋਰਸ ਲੋਟ ਆਫ ਪੀਪਲ ਨੋ ਯੂ ਬਟ ਸਮ ਪੀਪਲ ਡੋਨਟ ਸ਼ੀ ਇਜ਼ ਬੀਨ ਕਮਿੰਗ ਵਿਦ ਮੀ ਰਾਈਟ ਫ੍ਰਮ ਦਾ ਬਿਗਿਨਿੰਗ ਵਨ ਦਾ ਡੇ ਵੀ ਸਟਾਰਟਡ ਥਿਸ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ about approximately 4 and a half years ago <clears throat> so with that time i shuru kathe kiya tha unhone sari uh, in initiation and and encouragement was came from her from nupur so because that time covid bhi tha to so, anyway from kafi ab dekho sare 4 saal ho gaye hain program ko karte hue to so, you know it come a long way but anyway she was inspiration and very close we went i, I was very nervous but finally we did it ab ye jo hai she wears different hats fashion mein ho jata hai master did to the extent that when i need something i have to call you yeah different different uh, things right now today she is here gaate bhi bahut acha hai shayari bhi bahut achhi karti hai lekin aaj hamare ko thoda cooking ka kuch sikhayengi kuch dikhayengi kya kar rahi hai if you have any questions please feel feel free to write over here to hum puchte rahenge aur fir aapko bata denge to nupur will answer you she is saying appetizers ka kuch kar rahi hai So right now so Lupur you explain welcome to this platform thank you for so much thank you thank you good morning to everybody that's tuning in hello my name is Lupur i am the owner of queen's curry kitchen um i teach indian cooking online i write books on the subject of indian cooking and i also do food demonstrations most recently my newest venture is that i've come out with a line of eggless cookies that are artisanal and they are filled with indian flavors like rose pistachio cardamom shortbread 
mango, all of those flavors, and um, they're available as gift boxes. So if you can't be there for somebody, you can always send it. Every cookie box goes with a personalized message. And there is a video that I will film singing to that person that you're sending it for. And when they click on the QR code, they can see me conveying that message to them. So that's definitely on the works. Um, the website is going to be uh, live for all of the cookie orders for your holidays, for your Diwali. It's eggless, so you can literally put the cookie on your Diwali platter. Sometimes children don't want to eat the mitais. You can definitely uh, offer them the cookies. There's a lot of varieties. That's my story. So yes, Veena Ji, in your house this uh, past week, we had the get together where everybody showed up and showed so much love. I was off Facebook from my phone, so I couldn't really keep up with the messages. But when I did get in there and see it, I really appreciate each and everybody that commented and you know sent kind words my way regarding the food. I really, really appreciate each and every one of you. It was a lot of fun. So you know they miss kia, please ugly one miss mat ki jega. Or jo I thank you. We should do this more often. Yes. All right. So today what we're going to do is we're going to work with a very humble ingredient. It's called puff pastry. You can see up with those screens only one screen is where you can actually see what I'm making, which is right here. And then on other screen, you can see me. So this is what it looks like. Just samosa ki sheets hoti hai, jo puff pastry hoti hai, uska chota version, right? So let me show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like. It says puff pastry. Mm. And there's about 50 sheets. You have to keep them frozen. But before making anything with them, you can always hit the defrost button and defrost it for about two minutes. These dry very quickly, so you have to be very careful to keep them moist. That's the only um, challenge. I will do air fried versions and I will do a stove top fried version. Taki jo health conscious hai, wo air fried version khalenge jo calories nahi count kar rahe, wo tel mein tal ke khayenge. Okay, so we are going to do maybe uh, three kinds. Ek hum karenge sweet and the two that we'll do will be savory. Okay, so... I'm going to put this aside. We're going to start with two sheets. Whenever you're making something sweet or savory, always work on the dessert first so that all of the smells of garlic and onion or whatever spices you're going to use does not interfere with your dessert, right? So whether you're baking a dessert um, for a party that you have, whether you're making a cold dessert like a custard or a, a trifle or whatever that you have to chill, always make it on the side of the Okay, so that's one very important thing. Um, even if you're frying something, fry the sweet thing first. Even for the air fryer, I'm going to do the same thing. So I have two sheets. This is going to be the sweet one. And how we're going to make it is we're going to add some nut butter. You can add any kind of nut butter, hazelnut spread, peanut butter, any kind of nut butter. This one is called brunette and it's a hazelnut. Uh, and praline spread from uh, Le Pen Quotidien, you know, the coffee shop. You can use any kind of nut butter. Okay, so uh, Nupur, can we you can we buy the Pepperidge Farm puff pastry? Is that is yes, that you can do the same yeah. with puff pastry? Yes, whatever I'm doing with this, you can do with puff pastry too. Oh, okay, the only thing with puff pastry is that it doesn't fry in real oil too well. Well, both are oil peel it, so puff pastry has to only be baked. So, I have frying option. Nahi hai. Achha. If you try to fry the puff pastry, it's going to just soak up all of the oil and it's going to just become a very oily oh, crust. That's this the is only this thing. One, uh, this one is from, this one is yeah, from yeah, this place. Sheets. This is, this is from Le Pen Quotidien, you know, the the coffee shop. Or right, no, no, no. The, the pastries, I mean, the, those... This uh... is, I think, from the Indian store or maybe from the Chinese oh. supermarket. Aram se mil jate. Achha, wahan pe mil jate. Okay. Okay, now into this, we're going to add a little bit of cinnamon. Agar aapko, you know, you like the holiday flavors and you like cinnamon, but you don't want to eat like a whole cinnamon roll or something and you just right. want to eat a little decadent bite, you can do this. So we're going to add a little bit of cinnamon. Then you're going to take some water and you'll brush the edges. You can also do this with egg wash or you can do it with a paste of water and corn flour. Basically, this is the glue that's going to hold everything together. And then you're going to just roll it like this, very simple. So you put two together, right? One, uh, one on top of the other one, and then okay. Two sheets. Two sheets. And then you have to you cut them You have to just put a little extra, and then press it down. Also, go on the edges, make them wet. 
it's completely dry. So if you make it wet, it's going to stick together better. Right, right. And then you can take a fork and just crimp it a little bit, press it down. Okay, and then you're going to take some butter, just melted butter. You can also put an egg wash. I'm not using egg because it's Navratri. But if you put egg wash, it gets a really nice color. Okay. So you can actually just sprinkle this with some brown sugar or... I have this is coconut sugar. So just a little butter and coconut sugar. And then we can put it in the air fryer. If you want to air fry it, definitely give it a topping. If you're going to fry it on um, the stove top, then don't put any topping. Put these toppings after you take it out of the oil. Okay. Because if you put it in the oil, then it will be all And also if you're frying it in the hot oil, then you don't need to put butter on top because it's going to go inside the hot oil. Okay. Okay. So I'm actually going to uh, wipe this off and put it in the stove top, in the stove oil, because I already have two air fried versions already. So I'm just going to do a hot oil version. Mm -hmm. I'll show you what the air fried version looks like. You're going to air fry it at 350 degrees for about eight to nine minutes. Every air fryer is different. So you would really have to do a couple of experiments. So this is what it looks like. Oh wow! And after it comes out, you can you can add a little butter. You can add uh, a little more cinnamon and powdered sugar or whatever you want to add. So it's really nice. It's like a no mess thing, especially if you have toddlers in the house or you have grandkids who are coming over and you want to give them something to eat, but you don't want them to eat too much. You know, like right. junk or ice cream or whatever. You can just give them this. It's a really nice handheld snack. It's nice and snappy. Yeah, it looks very good, very um, delicious, it looks like. Wow, I wish I could take one, pick one up and eat it. <laughs> and very crunchy, so <laughs> it's not deep fried, just a little bit of butter. Even this butter is actually homemade, so there's no chemicals wow. in this butter. Maybe mm -hmm. you can show us a recipe for the butter too, if you get, get a chance. Butter is nothing, you just take heavy cream and put a couple of ice cubes and then use the whipping tool on your blender, that's it. Oh. Or blend hote hote, it's going to become a clump and all of the buttermilk is going to come at the bottom and then you add a pinch of turmeric and some salt oh, oh, butter okay. wala taste I was just going to ask you why ke, why color jo hai na, white wala hota wo, jo India mein karte hai, that's all white ah, if you yeah. work with just heavy cream you won't get the yellow coloration oh, okay okay but if you add a little pinch of turmeric and you're going to put in um, just a little bit of salt okay and it's going to give you that exact it's going to yeah. give you that exact amul but this is a better See, than uh, like a... better than buying from outside this butter ghar ka jo hai zyada acha hoga i mean there is nothing artificial in it and you know exactly what it's got just one ingredient two ingredients which is salt and this thing or with heavy cream aur uska jo buttermilk nikalta hai uske sath aap aata goon sakte ho you can actually drink it it's whey protein so you can actually drink it as a as a charge you can uh, Make your atta with it and make rotis. You can put it in your curries or wow. gravies. I'm actually now pan frying the other one. Just so you'll be able to see okay. the difference in color. If pan fry it, it will be golden. Hoga. Also, if you do an egg wash, it's going to be way more golden than what you see right now. It's golden. it's very white-ish, right? You see, it's kind of very white. It's not as golden as a spring roll from a Chinese oh, yeah. takeout place. So yeah. it can get as golden as that only when you deep fry it. So this is the sweet one. So just make sure that you get a good quality nut butter to make it happen. The next and it could be it could be almond butter too, right? Nut butter though. Almond butter? You can yes, put almond, almond butter, uh, peanut butter. If you want to put a little butter, bit of yeah. strawberry jam and you can do both. Jovi apka ji chahe, whatever your okay. family or your children eat, or if you're trying to, you know, please your guests if you have a theme going. Let's say you're doing um, let's say you're doing a Thai dinner or lunch, then you can do uh, you can do bananas and Nutella or something. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're doing an Indian theme, then you can put desiccated coconut and maybe chocolate and raisins. So just depending on what theme you're going with, you can actually vary what you're putting inside. Okay. We're gonna do two savory versions. One is going to be with potatoes and one is going to be with some root vegetables. I'm okay. Waiting for this to get mm -hmm. fried, so I can show you the difference in the color. Yeah, it looks really very uh, 
I feel like picking it See up. How this, one is? this is the same filling. Okay. So this is the air fried version and this is the deep fried version. You see this? Mm. Big difference, right? Yeah. And just oil se tab aap iske upar thoda sa extra sugar, thoda sa cinnamon, whatever, whatever you want to add, you're going to add it after it comes out of the oil. Whereas if you're putting it in the air fryer, you're putting it in the oven, you're going to add all of these things before it goes in. Before it goes in, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's the difference. Definitely, there's a difference in taste. When uh, air fry me dalo ya oven me dalo ya fry karo. Yeah, anything which has anything which has a lot of oil will infinitely taste better because oil is a carrier of flavor. There are a couple of things that carry flavor. One is oil and one is fat. I mean, fat and uh, salt. These are the two things that carry flavor. So anything that you cook with salt compared to without salt, even though the cooking technique is the same, will taste better. Also, anything you cook with oil, butter, ghee. is going to taste better compared to something that has no oil so that difference will always be there because those are the things that help you disperse flavor yeah, on your palate science right how does flavor go from into this thing into your mouth and how does how do your senses perceive flavor right. so fat is the thing that keeps the flavor on your tongue for a longer time so whenever you fry yeah. something that's what yes. tastes really good jab bhi hum dekhte hain kuch bhi butter laga hua hai ya jisme bahut sara cheese hai ya jo bahut sara deep fried hai those food taste really good because they are salty like take the example of potato chips right they taste really good because okay. it has a lot of salt it has a lot of oil and it's crunchy so it's aur kya chahiye you know Bilkul. so this is these are the two differences you can see they are both very different and you can do it any way you want to this is definitely going to the good thing with doing it with this is that it stays crunchy for many hours after frying so you it you can make it Yeah. Even after frying, it's going to stay crunchy. So let's say you have to go to a party where you have to take a potluck and you have to take some appetizers. You can make a whole lot of these nut butter cigarettes and you can take them and they'll stay crunchy for as long as you want. The only problem is if you have something with cheese, then it's not going to taste that good because the cheese will again re-solidify. Right, right. So वो आपको गरम सर्व करना पड़ेगा. But other than that, if it's anything that doesn't have cheese, you can actually make it ahead of time. and you can put put it out at the table it'll still be crunchy people make samosas like this you can put a samosa filling and make samosa cigars that's totally fine aap isme chane bhar sakte ho minced meat bhar sakte ho keema bhar sakte ho you know all those things all those things yeah if anybody has any questions feel free to drop them in the chat yeah please do i i have a quick quick, quick one this is the same thing that you used to make uh samosas and all that it's the same thing so we could do right. this shape right. pani shape this, this is a smaller uh, square smaller samosa square. wala jo hota hai bada hota hai bada hota hai hmm wow i'm going to again start with two sheets <clears throat> i had to turn off the oil because otherwise the smoke alarm would have gone off oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know when that will happen no no so i'm going to work Which on the email I'm asking everybody here. Anybody, any, any, anybody has any questions? Please do ask. Does anybody have any ideas about what else we can use for fillings? Just anything unique that you've done that works, like spinach and feta cheese works really well. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. So chocolate, chocolate and walnut work really well, like a brownie kind of a feel. Who did that? Um, Kamlesh ji, puchri hai ki what is the name of the the wrapper? Ye jo wrap liye na? Indian pastry. Amazing! This is what it looks like here. If you want to take a screenshot, take a screenshot. It looks like this. Let me take a let me take a picture. I'll take it. Okay, good. Spring roll paste. अच्छा मैंने कभी देखा है इंडियन स्टोर में जाते हैं, but you know everybody goes and they looks at different things. What are they need? So there's so many. Absolutely. We are so focused on getting all the things on our list that we forget to experiment with new things. You know. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Then, well, yeah, all these things. My favorite pastime is just to go into food stores and not buy anything, but just go through every mm -hmm. aisle and see every product. It's also a part of my work, so I kind of do it very happily. But on a normal given day, nobody has that kind of time to, you know, jump from one place to the other and do this. Yeah. Isi ke pas nahi time hota. Which is why when you see a program like this or you see a YouTube video, take inspiration, but don't just keep watching the videos. Try to make it as well. 
Yeah, exactly. You don't need to watch that one more video. You need to actually act karo. on the things that. Huh. Okay, so this is uh, this is again the thing. This is a compound butter that I made. It's butter, olive oil, and a lot of Italian herbs that are already mixed in with Parmesan mm. cheese. It's called a compound butter. So I'm going to put a little bit of that inside. It looks very very interesting. Yeah. It's already so. It has sea salt. It has Parmesan uh, cheese. Okay. It has parsley. All the powdered spices, dry spices, and then I mixed it with butter, melted it, mixed it, and then I store it in the fridge. So whenever I have a piece of toast or sourdough, I'll just toast it and then add this on top. If I'm making garlic knots, I'll add that on top. If you cheese paratha, you know. Sure. So it's really a good thing to have, especially if you like to entertain. Right. Yeah, looks very, very, uh, looks very good. Appealing. Into yeah. this, I'm going to add some oven roasted root vegetables. There's potato, there is a uh, sweet potato, carrot, there's some bell peppers, one or two onions here and there. And okay. I think there's some kind of Brussels. Are they already, uh, you bake them, right? Yeah, this is already roasted. It's roasted. already oven roasted, roasted. my friend. Roasted. Roasted. Yeah. Oh, but I was sick, she sent it to me, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to put this thing back on the stove, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay, and then try to play around with different shapes, different fillings. You don't want the filling to come out. So the trick is to put a little water so that they can stick. Yes, right? water is the glue that's actually making it. Oh, okay. If okay, you that's... want, you can put a little cheese in it. Hmm. And you know, like around the holidays, so many times we get called into these parties where we have to take something. Or people are coming and you're like, well, I don't want to serve pakoda and this and that. So kuch different karte hai, you know, that kind of thing. इसको आप जैसे मर्जी फोल्ड कर सकते हो यू कैन एक्चुअली टेक टेक इट टक इट इन लाइक दिस टक इट इन एंड देन जस्ट लाइक लाइक अ समोसा टाइप नाउ यस उसका थोड़ा शेप या लाइक दिस इज द दिस इज द क्लासिक स्प्रिंग रोल फोल्ड दिस इज द स्प्रिंग रोल वाला फोल्ड या या स्प्रिंग रोल नाउ या दिस इज एग्जैक्टली हाउ यू फोल्ड स्प्रिंग रोल्स एंड इट्स ग्रेट इफ यू कैन लेट इट चिल इन द फ्रिज फॉर 5 टू 10 मिनट्स बिफोर यू फ्राई अगर नहीं टाइम है तो कोई बात नहीं But you can actually make them like this and freeze them, hmm. so that when your guests come, आपने बस निकाला उसको defrost किया हल्का सा और deep fry कर दिया. So in order for you to freeze them, you'll put it on a tray and line them next to each other, and then put it in put the tray in the freezer. जब वो अलग अलग freeze हो जाएंगे, फिर आप उनको निकाल के ziploc bag में डाल के you can put. अच्छा अच्छा. Okay. I understand. They don't, they don't stick to each other. Like if you put a batch together in the freezer, they will not stick. If, no, if you take it at this stage and put it in a bag, they are going to stick to each other. So yeah. first, you have to put it on a tray, and mm -hmm. then freeze the whole tray. Oh, okay. Then when they become solid, then you can off the tray and right, put right, it right, 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 in okay. a right, container. Right, right. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Getting somebody. This stage, we have already got exact. So we'll be careful. They uh -huh. will stick to each other. Right, right. Okay. So welcome so some more people. Is uh, Serena was here? Nina Bhatia, welcome. Hello, so, hello, welcome. Ji hai, abhi Kamlesh ji hai, Rama ji bhi hai. Thank you all for coming. And any, if you have any other quest, any questions, please do. Um, <clears throat> don't hesitate to ask. So this is definitely a labor of love. You can put all these fillings on TV. You can put all these fillings on TV while you're watching your favorite show or something, and then you know freeze it. So when your kids come or you know you have family gatherings, you can just immediately pull it out. Either air fry it or bake it. देखो आजकल अभी वो हॉलिडे सीजन आ रहा है देखो अभी अभी नवरात्रे खत्म होएंगे देन उसके बाद में दिवाली भी आ रही है सो आफ्टर दैट थैंक्स गिविंग इज गोना कम देन क्रिसमस सो इज द वन आफ्टर द अदर समथिंग इज गोना समथिंग इज प्लस ईटिंग एवरीथिंग दिस आर लाइक वेरी हेल्दी वेजिटेबल्स दिस इज अ डेलिकेट स्क्वाश यू नो डिपेंडिंग ऑन हाउ मच सीजनिंग यू एडेड हियर इट विल डिपेंड कि आपको अंदर कितनी सीजनिंग कितना नमक कितनी मिर्ची डालनी इफ यू लाइक इट स्पाइसी हाय हाय सरीना हाउ आर यू Welcome. I, I, you like cooking, so this is my friend Nupur. 
you can see all the uh, different different appetizers that she's making yeah thanks for watching thanks for coming everyone like i said if you have any questions but you know what like i just said there's so many uh, okay so i just need to be folding again how to fold this thing yes this is very important to know that and a lot, lot of holidays yeah, okay. are coming like nupur said you can make them in advance and keep them in the freezer so that you don't have to yeah, uh, yeah serena loves it okay we must try serena <laughs> okay so let's just do the let's just go go over the folding thing make it sit like this so it's okay. pointing to you and then this is the part that you're going to put in first sabse okay. pehle aapko isko yahan leke jana then you're going to wet your hands and cover the sides you're going to fold the sides in mm -hmm. you're going to fold it in from here as well right. then you're going to add more water to this add some water to this dampen it and then roll it very tight as tight as you can Hmm. And then just give it a gentle press. So when you do that, then it's going to sometimes it's going to have these ears that jut out. So you can always pinch right, it. Right. Then all you got to do is uh, put some water. You dip your hand, finger in the water, and just that's the thing. That's it. going to keep it together. Okay. Yeah. So this is the savory one with the vegetables. I'm going to put it in the fryer. And then in the meantime, I'll make another one with potatoes and green chutney. वो बनाती उतनी देर में These two will fry. Gonna... They will taste very good with a ch green chutney. That's what you just said. Oh yeah. Now I'm going to put the chutney inside. So you can put your oh. favorite chutney. You can put your favorite achar wala tail. You know mm -hmm. you can put right, right. anything you have. You can put any leftover. You know like palak paneer, dal makhani. If you have a sukhi, we have. Wo dal do. It tastes really good. Jalapenos dal do. Some cheese dal do. So there's just so many things. Good idea. Jalapenos are good idea. Yeah. If you have a little bit of paneer gurji left over, you can put that. If you have um, tofu scrambles, you can put that. So sky is the limit. Once you figure out how what to do with the technique and how to master that, you'll be able to yeah. really play around with fillings, and you'll be able to. Get yeah, Serena. Serena is saying that uh, Nupur. Serena is saying that she makes uh, empanadas in a similar way. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, that's correct. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. Hi, so Zinder. How are you? From London. We're gonna put some potatoes. <clears throat> Long time no see, Tajinder. After boy there ke baad aayo. And Serena, welcome both of you. You guys have come after a while, but it's always pleasure to see you guys and everybody else, of course, who's here. Yeah. So we are making some appetizers, Tajinder. These are different different types which you can make in advance and <clears throat> keep in the freezer. So anytime you need it, you can always take it out and fry it. Because lot of holiday, lot of lot of the yeah, holidays are coming up. You can say they're all around the corner. Diwali hai, abhi ye dusara bhi aa raha hai. Some chaat masala. Oh yeah, okay. I so didn't add any you... salt to the potatoes. It's just one boiled potato that I grated. Kuch maine lamba chora nahi kiya uske saath. Just when I'm about to close it, I'm going to add the seasonings like chaat masala and what not. Woh sab maine dal diya. Okay. So you can make this with cheese. You can make it without cheese. जैसे भी आपको खाना है, you can make it. I like everything with vegetables. So I'm going to add some vegetables to this. So you always keep two, right? Nupur, two of the pastries together. Yes, two sheets. Two sheets. Yeah. Two sheets. Okay, it's not going to fall apart, and it, yet it's going to be crunchy. जब three कर दो तो अंदर से थोड़ा कच्चा रह जाने का chance रहता है. हाँ. एक कर दो तो कभी कभी टूट जाता है. So two, I think, is the perfect number. But depending on what brand you are using, you might want to experiment and see. Maybe less or more works better for you. Ah, give something. So a little cheese. A little garlic and herb powder, whatever kind of mixed herbs mm -hmm. you have, you can put that. Wow, that looks really. I like the cheese on the top of that. Oh, oh yeah, cheese is what makes it really happy. Cheese makes it really delicious. Everything with cheese. Especially I mean, I may, I may, I'm a big fan of cheese. Yeah, I'm a big fan of cheese. I love cheese. So well, anything with cheese, cheese for me. I love cheese in my appetizers. Maybe not so much yeah. in yours, but I do love it in my appetizers. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Same here. Close this thing. Oh, well, I almost ban gaya hai. I'm gonna just run over to that. Uh, Serena is asking why you do double. I think because of the the kind of kind of thin. I think that's the reason. Because one can sometimes split open when you're folding it, so oh. there's that risk of things you know falling apart when you're frying, and then three can lead to having some raw dough inside. So two, I think for me, two is the perfect manageable number. 
Okay, that's the reason. Also, I like to stuff it pretty generously, and I feel like one sometimes doesn't hold up because I just put too much stuff. This is makes it more okay, soft. Now I'm going to show you one more variation on the potato one, and you'll be you'll be surprised because all of the lovers of Thai food that we have in this group. I'll show you that just now. Yeah, I know everybody loves potatoes. Well, who doesn't love like potatoes? Oh. Tell me that. I know, potatoes can, and all these are like. Um, Kind of Indian based, or you can make it your own taste. Whatever you can, you can add whatever you like. You can put you can corn, make. you can put corn, cheese, jalapenos, and make it Mexican. You can put pieces of leftover rotisserie chicken that you have. You can put leftover chicken tikka if you went to the Indian restaurant. You ordered like chicken tikka or tandoori chicken. You brought the leftovers home. You can put that. Trader Joe's actually sells the chicken tikka masala samosa, like yes, in the yes, samosa. I've seen it. Sauce, which is amazing. I mean, I think they'll come out very good with keema. Keema seems to be a yeah, oh yeah. but the keema you have to cook. Don't put uncooked keema. Any cooked, cooked, yeah. after leftover. Yeah. Like you make something in so your when house. You have leftover, leftover. Butter. Whenever I make keema, ah. I always make a little more. Or when I'm making keema, yes. cook, say, I always make a little extra because I know that I'm going to use it for uh, puff pastry. Or if fridge mein puff pastry, hoti hai, so I inevitably make it. Maybe I add some uh, onions or some cabbage just to give it a little, of, little bit of bulk. And then I make it a lot. So, so kime wale to definitely. Anytime we, good. anytime we, I don't know you're mostly you're out, but if we just drop in one day, so we'll you get all the grease. Just let me know you're coming. <laughs> I'll make it. <laughs> anyway, you come unannounced. You go. You go. My house is here. My garden is here. Yeah, food wale, the chef is there. I mean, you always get food to eat. That's for sure. You'll definitely get food. You'll get chai. You'll get. Yeah, last time I remember when we came, it was my God, amazing. Um, you, you these, are the, these are the vegetable ones. Mm. Okay, and when they come out, you can absolutely cut them up with some chaat masala. Yeah, wow, they look so good. Three time chaat masala dalke. They came, mumme pani a gaya. Main kya karunga ab? Crack them open and I'll show you the crunch of it. Mm. Also make this with paneer. Like I know people love yeah. paneer. Paneer, I love paneer too. That's my one of my favorite things. Just grate the paneer and you know put chaat masala, oh. put hari chutney and make it like with this instead of the potato. Use paneer. You can also use a boiled, uh, boiled green banana. Jo log aloo nahi khana chahte ya jo log aloo khate hi nahi hai. Uh, okay. You can put food, You can bananas. Raj, you can put chane. You can put whatever. Kale chane. Kale chane. Yeah, that's a that's a good one. So I'm how many are here? I'm asking you. How many in the audience are unke muh mein pani aa raha hai? Batao zara. Let me know. Everybody. Muh mein pani aa raha hai. Kaapka kis mein aa raha hai muh mein pani? Khane ke liye. Which one do you want to eat? I feel like picking it up and eating it. Yeah. Come, I'll give you. I'll save it for you. Oh, Rama ji, carry it. Now you come and drop it off. Okay, Rama ji. Abhi aati hu. Darwaza khula rakna. खूब सारे बनाने तो पहले फिर 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 अपना ना हाँ पहले बनाऊंगी फिर फ्राई करूंगी फिर जाऊंगी देने ओके सो दिस आर माय टू शीट्स आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू ये साइड से थोड़ा ड्राई हो गया बातें करते करते सो इट्स गोना बिकम नाइस एंड इट्स गोना बिकम क्रस्टी तो उसको वापस रिवाइव करने के लिए जस्ट ऐड अ very interesting experiment. Karenge. This is curry paste, right, from the Thai store. Oh. So we're going to take a little bit of this. We're going to add it to the bottom. so much stuff in the, even, in, even in the Thai stores. They have so many nice things to Oh, my God. Yes, there's so much variety. Like, you can never get bored. And, you know, the neighborhood I live in, there's uh, all kinds of ethnic supermarkets in my neighborhood. So we get Russian food, we get Turkish food, we get Israeli food, we get Korean, Chinese, Hispanic. I you know what I think the, the Vietnamese they are very good. Maybe one day we'll do the Vietnamese the sandwiches. I'll teach you how to make the banh mi sandwich, the Vietnamese sandwich. Because I like Vietnamese. The soup is not delicious. You know, it's very very. Mm. China told me I had gone. To Maybe China. in the colder mm. months. Yes, I'll be like here. A whole segment about soups. We yes, do that again this year sometime yeah. when it gets because before the winter, before yeah, the winter, yeah. any time now, fall is coming up any day, any day. So everybody's gonna start drinking, eating lot. I mean, having 
So as you're making, you want to air fry it again, you're going to just brush it with butter or brush it with oil and you can air fry it at 350 or 375 for about eight minutes. How many minutes? Eight minutes. 15 minutes. Okay. It'll, no, eight minutes. Eight. Okay, Serena. Thank you so much for joining. She's going back to work. She said she took a break. All righty, Serena. Thank you. It was good yeah. to see you. Thanks for popping in over here. Come anytime. Okay. Thanks for coming. Okay, so I'll just show you. I'm actually trying these right now. I'm just going to take it off the stove so y'all can see what it's going on. Wow. Right here. I'll stick it back on the stove. Yeah, yes. she said she's, she's going to try for the holidays. She's going to do that. Makes if good anybody idea. has any questions about what you're seeing, if you have any ideas that you want to tell us, things that we can do differently, let us know. We're always... Yeah, Kamlesh G makes these kind of things for the holidays. Yeah. So, what do you put inside, Kamlesh Kamlesh Ji, I think I think she makes a samosas, if I'm not mistaken. Uh huh. Yeah, like around around Ramzan, a lot of people you know pre-make the samosas and kimas and kime wale and all that, and they keep it ready. So um, a lot of my Muslim friends, you know, their moms will do it before Ramadan and keep it ready. So if it's so bad, it's not that quickly. So there's no options. So Shami kebab or potatoes or anything else? What do you put in there? You can do green peas, you can do palak. Uh, yeah, I think she says she's samosas, but I think she made a habit of filling potatoes with the thinking. But um, you know, you can do anything, you can do like just now, you got all these yeah, ideas. I think you should not, and also, you know, plant based meat, like the impossible. That also makes a really good keema. Like you'll actually feel like you're eating beef, but there's no beef. It's all plants. It's called impossible. Whole foods, um, all of the grocery stores have it. It's called impossible meat. Yeah, it's called impossible. Potato and keema she makes. Yeah, I know what, I think keema, I think comes out really good. And potatoes. But this one is vegetarian keema. Vegetarian, it's not... Yeah, the one you just showed now, we didn't know. There's so much variety. Yeah. So it do... tastes way better than Nutri-Nugget wala keema. Usse better hota hai. Uh -huh. But again, you know, I'm very leery of eating fake meat because usme, I feel like there's so much more processing done. Uh, yeah, I think they put a lot of uh, processed there's stuff. There's a lot of processed stuff exactly. so that it'll be on the shelf and all that craziness. So, I mean, I so so khana to real keema khao. That's what I think. That's what I feel too. Like, you know, eat the grass fed, whatever it is. Agar aap beef yeah. khate ho to. Organic grass fed. That's what I like. There's a lot of options. You know, you can absolutely mm -hmm. stick to. Something. You can always get, if you have a food processor, you can get the chicken and yeah. make it, uh, make the keema. You know? Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Okay. So this is one last one that I'm going to make. It's just going to be vegetables and cheese. And I'm going to add my herbs. So you put the same vegetables that you had before. <clears throat> yeah, same, but I usually have a big box of vegetables that I saute or then bake in the oven yeah, and yeah, stick it in the fridge. So you this is what I eat for dinner. Right. A whole box of this is my dinner every day. And then sometimes I'll have a dal ka soup or not, or sometimes I'll have a kira or something, a salad. But this is what I eat pretty much every day, depending on whatever vegetables come in the box. That's what I eat. I don't I eat any rice. You get a farm, farm box uh, every week. Yeah, yeah, every Friday. 
don't they finish during the winter time right now or something next month maybe? i don't know what their growing season is right now they're just sending a lot of corn and sweet potatoes that's how i made the butternut squash soup yesterday because they had sent a big right. butternut right. squash they had right. sent sweet potatoes and apples and that soup calls for all of those ingredients right it really worked out उर्वा Yeah, she says she. Kamal uh, is saying she. Urvan ne mere karora me ek extra laga diya, but still it's okay. Yeah, she says she loves them to make with the butternut squash. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Well, soups comes out really good, delicious. Ah, uh, soups come out really good. And I have actually tasted. Um, I don't know if you know of the chef called Wolfgang Puck. Yeah, very yeah. Very famous. French very very famous. Yeah. Very famous. He does all the French techniques in his food. And he has all these appliances too. Very nice appliances. Yeah, I've had his butternut squash too, and I can tell you mine is way better. Oh, well, he's gonna be more uh, German, German style, you know. He's more German style, European style. You no, know? he's very more French. He does French. Thank you, thank you, thanks, Urva. Yeah, I, I bought a lot of his products. He has a lot of these uh, gadgets. You can buy. Oh yeah, he has. Stuff. He has a lot of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Williamson Oma chale jao ya kaha chale jao he has a lot of he has a program in uh, home shopping now yeah. he sells a lot of things comes once he has a lot of stuff there thanks so okay, so the last one is frying up i'm going to maybe get some oh that's good that's good kamlesh ji so you can get from your friend if she grew the butternut squash in a house nothing wow. to beat uh, nothing to beat making best you know getting the vegetables in your own garden okay. nothing to beat that Then they go again, and you get it. It tastes so good. It's almost like okay. So now, if you like Thai food and you like spring rolls, you have to get this sauce. It's called the Thai sweet chili sauce. It's very easily available in all of the supermarkets in the Asian grocery store. You can get that. It pairs really nicely with spring rolls. It's sweet. It's salty. It's oh, the sauce. spicy. Sweet and sour, isn't it? Sweet and sour taste. Hmm. आप थोड़े मेथन डालो और कलौजी डालो एंड जस्ट सोटे द बटरनाट स्क्वाश एंड जस्ट सॉल्ट उसमें हल्दी भी नहीं डलती क्योंकि वो फिर मस्टर्ड ऑयल का येलो कलर खत्म हो जाता है एंड देन इट्स जस्ट गैस से उतारने से पहले जस्ट अ पिंच ऑफ शुगर एंड इट टेस्ट रियली गुड सूखी लाल मिर्च मेथरा एंड कलोनी इट्स अ वेरी बंगाली रेसिपी इट्स कॉल्ड चेचकी अच्छा दैट इज दैट्स ऑल यू डू जस्ट कट द थिंग एंड देन यू सॉटे इन मेथी एंड कलोनी एंड मेथरा हां एंड मेथरा एंड कलोनी मस्टर्ड ऑयल को पहले अच्छे से गरम करके उसमें एक सूखी मिर्ची डाल के सूखी वाली लाल मिर्च होती वो um and put a couple of methra seeds and put some kalonji aur usko fatafat saute karna hai aur zara sa pani dal ke bas itna cook karna hai ki wo tender ho jaye magar mush nahi honi chahiye oh, okay and then before removing it from the flame just put a couple of dane of uh, sugar that's it it tastes really good with the bengalis eat it with maide ki puri which is called luchi oh okay so you don't put any okay, salt you don't put any you don't put any any other uh, like no, uh, no turmeric you put salt only but no turmeric most only salt okay haldi kutni dalta yeah kamlesh ji carry the simple thing of chocolate yeah See, kamlesh ji saying the one that that's freshly usse best lagta hai she said that she made it with uh, instead of the sugar she put gud in it gud oh gud yeah you can also make a good halwa with butternut of course sweet yeah, potato yeah, yeah. halwa yes yes babu bhi aap bana sakte ho Yeah, a lot of okay, so this this is the last one wow they coming out really so these are all look like a very um, a chinese restaurant mein dikhate hai na they, they put this on this kind of tray this kind of a thing they will bring it to you they'll serve it to you 
मजे लेके खाओ अलग अलग फिलिंग्स बनाओ अलग अलग शेप्स में इसको फोल्ड भी आप कर सकते हो लाइक इफ यू गो ऑन यूट्यूब दर्ज अट ऑफ डिफरेंट वेज ऑफ फोल्डिंग इट गिव्स यू सो वेन यू ओपन दिप लॉक बैग यू नो कि अगर मैंने ऐसे फोल्ड किया तो वेजिटेबल वाला है अगर मैंने ट्राइंगल बनाया तो वो कीमे वाले But that you have to remember. If you forget what you did, you click. Wait, you'll also write it on the back. Write it. Most likely, write a bag. You'll write it. Ah. Uh-huh. Veena ji, there we go. We have all of this variety. You can take a screenshot if you want. Wow. Now that's good. Yeah, I am going to take it. Make a screenshot. Yep. Yeah. I was just admiring it. Yeah. Dekhi ja rahi hoon. But uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Took it. Took two, two pictures. Came out really good. So. Yeah, so this is what it is. I'm going to split it open. आप उसको अंदर से भी देख सकते हो and सुन भी सकते हो. Oh, so this is nice oh and God. steamy hot. So this is like the original hot pocket. इसमें मैं बहुत ज़्यादा cheese नहीं डाली इसलिए the cheese bowl is not there. But you can actually put a mozzarella cheese stick. You can put it in oh. in there and dip it in the sauce and eat it. Hmm. 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 Really good. <laughs> yeah, and it looks very, very appealing. And you know, look at that. I wish you could be here. I wish too. Mm. It's got the uh, it's got that Italian flavor from the compound butter. Yeah, that that that. It was the that only like a. I think it's more soft. Is it like a pesto kind of a thing? It's so a compound, compound butter. Compound butter, but you put put something in it, right, to make it flavorful. Mm. I've got dried parsley, dried basil, dried oregano, oh. Parmesan cheese, and sea salt. Dried parsley, basil, oregano, oregano. Okay, and what else? Sea salt, Parmesan cheese, salt. And what cheese? What cheese was that? Parmesan. Oh, okay. Then I'm gonna open this one. इससे पहले कि सारे मुझे खाने पड़े, I'm gonna put it away. I'm eating this all day. Yeah, yeah. I wish you were here, Urva. You could have. This is also. This is also. This is with the with the Thai with the Tom Yum's paste at the bottom. Yes. हमने Thai curry डाली थी. Hmm. Potato America. This is the one to eat with the Thai sauce. Actually, everything tastes good with the Thai chili sauce. I don't know why, but I love it. Yeah, yeah. Thai chili sauce. That the sauce is really amazing. This has a nice kick to it. It's spice, spicy for me. Oh. This is the one with the cheese. This is the one with the potatoes. And the potatoes give it that nice creaminess. So when you have a contrast of textures in a small packet, जब आप appetizers बनाते हो, always make sure first of all visually it has to be really interesting. Yeah, of course. अगर इसको मैंने अगर पार्टी में सर्व करना होगा, so what I'll do is I'll probably get little olive rings, and I'll put a toothpick oh. and I'll put an olive ring in every toothpick. So you have to really think like how can I make it more appealing? How can I make I it appetizing? Agree. I'll probably put fresh cilantro on top, or maybe I'll do a drizzle of imli ki chutney on top. Really depending on what I'm cooking and what the theme I is agree. going. You have to put that garnishing. garnishing. Yeah, yeah. Then the second thing is when you think about the filling inside. Definitely pay attention to different kinds of texture, so that when you bite into it, different. Her bite may same texture आना चाहिए और her bite may same flavor profile आना चाहिए. So uneven filling नहीं होनी चाहिए. उसको जब आपने mix किया उसके flavors evenly distributed होने चाहिए. And if you layer it nicely, जब आप उसको bite करोगे तो her bite में आपको same flavor आएगा. Even if you make a sandwich, every bite of the sandwich should have all the components. So when you're doing the drizzle of the dressing. When you're layering the lettuce, when you're putting the cheese, every square inch of the sandwich should get all the fillings. So that's kind of like how you have to really think technically. Because your khara uske liye wo experience kaise hai? Or when you're making a burrito, it has to be evenly covered everywhere. So same amount of rice, same amount of beans, same amount of chicken should go in every bite. And also, if he's eating it today, and if he's eating it ten days later. It should still be the same. So that's why people, you know, in in restaurants, you always standardize the recipes, so that the user experience is the same every single time, right? Yeah, they look, they look so really when great. you when you put textures into this and you feel like, अरे मेरे पास तो सिर्फ आलू है और कुछ नहीं है, 
So then just put aloo, put a little onions, put a little, you know, chopped ginger to create that texture in your mouth. It should not taste like baby food. Aap thode peanuts dal sakte ho isme piece ke. You know, you can do that. You can put little hari mirchi pieces. You can put achari mirchi pieces. These kind People of things you can do. Uh, try to guess what kya kya dala hua hai. You know, they should guess. Ye bhi hai na, khake, dekho, kya hai, play, they can... Yes, there should be many huh? layers of flavor. Yes. It, should not be a, it should not just fall flat. And if you feel like something is just falling flat and it doesn't have that oomph, like when you bite into it, always taste it first and see what you're eating. If you feel like it's that oomph, there are a couple of things that you can put. Ek to you can put lemon juice to really like brighten up the thing. You can put chaat masala after it comes off the stove and you can just put a little chaat masala to give it that depth of flavor. So these are a couple of things that you can do. Baki garnishes mein, you know, the ginger oh. juliennes and dhaniya, wo to hai hi hai. but I guess after a while it gets really boring. So you want to be able to keep it interesting and you want to be able to add different elements to make it visually appealing to also be so appetizing that someone wants to like put their hand into your screen and just eat it right away. Eat it, yeah. Which is just basically three ingredients. Just my apne sirf dood dala, chini dali, or chawal dali. How do you make that appealing? You know, maybe put a little kesar wala dood on top to add a little color. Maybe add a little bit of a cherry on top. Maybe add some raisins. Whenever you're making kheer, don't put raisins when you're cooking. And the top, pista, pista, you have to cut the pista on top of it. Work, work, and the white wala jota work. That also is. If you get it, yeah, I don't know if you get it here or not. You can put edible gold foil, edible silver foil. Um, we recently did a, um, I think in May, we did an event for the Intrepid Museum and then we had to do, do some kind of futuristic dessert. So what we did was, I actually made, I took powdered sugar and I made rangolis with that on the plate. And oh. then we had a gulab jamun plate which we decorated with gold foil. Se decoration kiya tha. Yeah, I think so everybody was, yes. like, how did you make that? And the plate was blue and the powdered sugar was white. And then uske, just offset we had a gulab jamun ko place kiya tha, which was brown and then the blue. Wow. If you're not following me on social, you can always go and check out my Facebook page, Queen's Curry Kitchen. I'm also on Instagram as Indian Food Queen. So you can definitely um stay tuned and keep seeing what we are up to next and i also talk about like food ideas if i'm hosting somebody then i always do like a behind the scenes so you can get a sneak peek into what's going on in the kitchen but you also have live uh, uh demonstration yes i do live demonstrations the next one is coming up in flushing town hall on november 2nd i will be doing the food demonstrations there's also dances by uh uh, Kathak Guru Abhavarnagar Roy and DJ Rekha will be performing, uh, will be bringing her entire team for a Bhangla party at the end of the evening. Oh, DJ Rekha. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> November 2nd. Tickets are available on the hall website. Oh, that's good. Good to know that. Yeah. Sounds very good. We also sell samosas and laddus and chai at the event. It's after the actual Diwali. Yeah, next one. No, November 1st is Diwali. Free from here. November mm -hmm. 2nd. So you'll be free from your own home responsibilities and you can actually come and enjoy the evening. It's a full day thing. Where is it? At Flushing now? Town Hall on Boulevard in Flushing. Okay. Yeah. So definitely check it out. Laddu se yaad aya. Again, like every year, I'm offering Churma Laddu, Shakar Pare, and uh, Poha Chivra in my gift packs. If you're interested, if you want to do it for your corporate clients, if you want to do it for your guests, if you want to do it for your family members, it comes pre-packaged. It's already gift wrapped in a tray with a nice, beautiful card attached to it. It's very beautiful. Um, and it's actually stuff that they will eat. Everything is made with desi ghee. Mm. So there's no uh, fake additives. There is no like mithai that is made months ahead of time. If you go to the mithai stores, they actually start making Diwali ki mithai in summer. Really? So, we Diwali summer. Yeah, of course. Can you deliver by Diwali? Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, uh, stay tuned on my website and my uh, uh, Facebook page. I will definitely share images of it and you can just tell me how much 
how many baskets you need or how many trays of uh, laddus and uh, chivra. Usually it's a package where it has a mita and a namkeen and a little candle in a pretty tray and then it comes with cellophane wrap and a pretty ribbon and then there's a note attached. So okay. you can definitely either have everything shipped to your house, you can come and pick it up from my house or you can send it directly to the person who it's meant for and I can ship it on your behalf to that person. So that's totally uh, possible. Nesh is asking how uh, soon, I mean, how should we, how, how soon we should we tell you? Like, I mean, I will have the inventory ready on Sunday. So Sunday we are actually going into production and finishing up all of the production for it. So we're doing the first batch of 10, 10 pounds. Um, you know, okay. if you get that, then they'll definitely have it by Diwali because as soon as I have the orders, I will ship them Monday, Tuesday. We will actually start uh, packing the gift trays and we'll start shipping them out. So uh, definitely they'll have it before Diwali. The sooner you act upon it, the better it is. Okay. Yeah. Kamlesh ji, I'll send you a, uh, I'll send you a DM or then, you know, we can talk after the show and I'll tell you pricing and everything. Maybe I'll send you pictures. Then you can pick and choose whichever one you like and we'll just send it. It's okay, no problem. So do it for your employees. You can do it for your co-workers. You can do it for your family members who don't live in New York and you want to send them something. But um, the mitai from the mitai store doesn't travel well. These things travel really well because it's desi ghi ka churma laddu. There is no dairy in it. So it travels really well whether you want to ship it to California or Boston or... So I don't know. Connecticut. So you have like, you have the laddus, you have the chevra, and then you have something and the shakar pare. Shakar pare. Okay, shakar. those are good too. Those are good. Yeah. They also travel well, I think. These, these are not these are not shakar pare that are dipped in sugar. This is the shakar pare that's already jo aata hota, usi mein chini hoti. So basically, it's just oh. sweet dough that's fried and cut into little shapes. So it's not messy and it's not overly sweet. It's just very subtle. It has a hint of cardamom and it's sweet. For all the people that ordered last year, they would probably know. So last year we had some doctors who ordered uh, for their patients and for their office and for their co-workers. And there were some real estate agents who ordered for their clients who had just bought homes. Uh, some people ordered for their families because nobody has the time to actually go to Jackson Heights right. or wherever, you know, just keep doing that so it doesn't look good yes you have to do it but just make sure you get it to me in time so that i'll be able to ship it way before diwali and they'll be able to enjoy it around the festivities ramaji karinga she tried last year and then uh, kamlesh ji puch rahi you also have namkeen you also do the yes, namkeen. The chivra, the, chiv, the chivra is the namkeen. Uh -huh, yeah. It's a very simple, very light uh, poha chivra, which is sweet and salty. It's not spicy. And it's not nuts, hote hai, nariyal, hota hai, kishmish, hoti hai, kaju. Oh, sounds really good. Peanuts, hote hai. curry patte ka taste. Hota hai. Haldi, namak, chaat masala, heeng. So it's everything is absolutely home style and really simple and easy. Very simple and very light. So, uh, yes, Ramaji actually tried quite a few last year. So, I'm thankful for her support. She ordered very many trays last year and everybody loved it. Um, so, yeah. So, Ramaji, if anybody... how come I didn't get, Ramaji, how come I didn't get one? <laughs> Ramaji, how <laughs> come <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, no, no. Um, that's okay. I'm just kidding. But uh, anyway, sounds. I don't remember. I, I, I remember you bought it someplace. Yes, I, I gave it to you. Uh, you have, you bought it some. No, sorry, last year we didn't do anything because my mother-in-law had died. So I personally. Yeah, yeah, I think you gave it to. Yeah, you came. You brought it somewhere. I remember. Yes. I ate it over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yes, um, I did it for the for India home and also for Parker Jewish. So they had ordered the namkeen packets and they had ordered the lattoos for their function. That's really good. So that's really great. So anybody here, like I know that Kamlesh is a little bit, she seems to be interested. Uh, I will also call you and, and um, definitely we'll pass the word around. And if you know anybody who's interested, please give them Nupur's information. And she does a lot of other things. She does a personal chef behalf and other things that she can do. Like she already told you what she's doing. <clears throat> so this is a busy season. As soon as you make up your mind, let me know. If you have any questions, you can always uh, you can DM always me. You can always call me. You can email me. It's queenscurrykitchen at gmail.com or you can go to the website, Queen's Curry Kitchen. You right. can also send me a private message on Facebook. You can also 
drop a comment in this program so then Veenaji can tag me. Yeah, yeah. But if anybody has anything that they need in terms of mithai, in terms of the cookies, uh, the eggless cookies that we're doing, definitely let us know. That would be really helpful so yeah. that I can get it to you before um, the work. Yeah. So maybe she's saying, please get in touch for details. So whenever we have we'll time, do. I'll that. do that. Yeah, and I'll do that. Yeah. I'll be in touch with you too. That's great. Okay. This is really, sounds really interesting. All these different different things. Eight package me. I mean, combination of different things. You know, like And usually to... I try to put a candle as well, so it's just nice and pretty. Wow. wow. So awesome. a, can, a decorative candle aati hai aur ye do ki mitha namkeen aata hai. You can either pick the shakkar pare and uh, chivda oh, combo, or you can pick the churma laddu and chivda combo. They come in little jars. Malab, it's very pretty. And it, it comes in a little box with a ribbon and everything. I'll, I'll share some pictures so you'll get an idea. Yeah, yeah. But if I, wants to yeah if anybody wants to maybe sometime next week Vinaji, we can do a live and i can show you exactly what it is because i'll have the production on sunday maybe next week we can um, pick one of um, them next wednesday them. next wednesday how's that is that okay mm -hmm. sounds good yeah yeah the better because diwali is around the corner right yeah diwali is around the corner so let's do next wednesday we'll do a live shopping event and then you know whoever yeah. wants to place orders i can ship it the same day or the next day and right, if you want exactly. to come pick it up, that's fine too. I'm in Forest Hills. You can pick it up. If you want to have it delivered, then I can always ship it to you. No problem. Yeah. Okay. Next Wednesday, the cool. Everybody, please join again. And Nupur is going to show us the gift, the, the packages where she's going to be sending. So please join and you can have a look. Or in the meantime, you can call and do whatever you beforehand. Why do you can still place the orders. It's going to be yeah, great. Exactly. It's going to be super, uh, super delicious. It's going to be beautifully packaged. So there's no doubt about it. The people that have not bought from me before, unki tasalli ke liye, I will do a live uh, with DDG on Wednesday. Yes. And then you can see um, what how you like it and what kind of sizes they come in, etc. And make up your mind based on that. Yeah, that's true. That is true. So, okay. Thank okay. you so much, Jaya Rupert, for coming and showing thank us all this. Thank you, Veena Jiji. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Uh, appreciate you. Amazing. And if, of course, somebody who missed it or didn't see it, please go back, listen to the whole program, and you'll get all the details of how to make all, all the juicy gossip friends. Definitely will have a look. So Tika, I'm Milteha next week. I'll talk to you. Thank you so much. If you're not sharing this page with your friends and family, please consider sharing this page so that more and more people can join the DDG family and we can all grow and have a good time on this program, which is always talking about heart to heart things. They'll say they'll think that's the name of this program. That's the that's the goal of this program, that we should have conversations in our communities about things that we usually don't give importance to. So yeah, support your friends or family page ko bhi share kare or notifications go on rakhe so that whenever Veenaji is live next you will get notified and you'll be able to log in so you don't miss any of the good fun that we have on this program this Friday we are having Gautamji from India and Rimple oh wow we, lovely uh, yeah they'll be talking about any quick Q&A if you have anything related to stones or uh, any questions you have for because he does tarot mm -hmm. card reading live so if you have any questions wow. Q&A program hoga please join KGA 10 30 a.m. on this coming Friday, which is the 11th. Tika, and then next Wednesday we have Nupur already. She's gonna yes, next Wednesday again. We'll do we'll do the live of yes, the we'll product. Just go to Definitely. Okay, so have, um great day, all of you. Thanks for joining. Have a wonderful thank day. Thank you, Veenaji. Thanks for everything. Nupur, you're welcome sir, anytime. And then beautiful, thank you so much for the lovely, lovely, lovely recipes that you showed us. Thank you. Here you go. Bye everyone. <laughs> Bye everyone. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks, Ramaji, Kamlesh Ji, and everybody else who's there. Thank you. A photo you did there. Second, quick, quick, quick. Mm, yeah. I took a few. I took a few. I'll send it to you. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay. Perfect.